So in this video, we're going to be breaking down some of the emerging platforms and cutting edge technology that your church should be using in order to attract new visitors and reach people for Jesus. And I'll even introduce you to my number one favorite platform right now that I think is the most effective for churches. So let's dive into how to use cutting edge technology for church growth coming up. <laughs> Hey, what's up y'all? Welcome back. My name is Chris Abbott, but all my friends just call me Abbo. And in this video, we're going to be breaking down some of those uh, technology platforms. Uh, some of them have been around for a while. Some of them are brand new, but all of them are really, really helpful in aiding us to be able to reach people who live in our city who either don't know about us yet or who know about us but haven't visited yet. So, Let's dive in. All right, the first one is chatbots. Now, chatbot is basically just an automated text message that lives inside of Facebook. This could be really, really helpful because you could run uh, a post or a Facebook ad on Facebook and Instagram that just simply says, hey, how can I pray for you this week? Then you could run people into Facebook Messenger and you could use a chatbot to collect their prayer request, have a conversation back and forth with them, and then invite them to church and all of it is completely automated, right? So again, it's just kind of like an automated text message that's pre-written and lives inside of Facebook. So when people start messaging your page, it just automatically pre-delivers those messages that you've already written. This is a great way to, you know, kind of collect prayer requests, invite people to church and to do it at scale without living in front of your computer with Facebook Messenger open all the time, right? So I'm a huge fan of chatbots. I've actually helped over 500 churches in the last 24 months harness the power of chatbots and we've seen incredible results, right? We saw a church of 15 that grew from 15 to 50 in only two months. We saw a church of 60 grow to 110 in only three months. And we saw a church of 130 grow to 200 in only three months, right? And every single one of them was just using simple chatbots to reach people within driving distance of their church and then invite them to Sunday morning. All right, number two is live streaming. Now, my favorite platform for this is the church online platform. This is a free tool that Craig Rochelle and all of the people over at Life Church have actually developed, which is crazy because I can only imagine the tens of millions of dollars that must have gone into developing this and supporting it and keeping it going. And they offer it absolutely free, which is extremely awesome. So um, I love Church Online because you have the ability to do a lot of different things. Like you can stream to your website, you can stream to uh, YouTube, and it has really, really great engagement tools as well, right? As we're all kind of trying to figure out, you know, this whole digital campus thing, right? Especially after what the pandemic did, right? And then all the, you know, different flare ups of, you know, churches are open, then they're closed, then they're open, then they're closed. Who knows what the next couple of years is going to look like. And so it's really, really important for us to get our online presence dialed in. And I think our live streaming is one of the most important things that we can focus on. I love the church online platform. It's got a ton of tools that you can use to kind of help get the word out. And then a lot of ways to be able to engage people while they're watching. If you are in between platforms or you're looking for a new platform, I definitely recommend checking out the church online platform because it is amazing and it's absolutely free. So a couple of things that the church online platform does that's really cool is you can engage your viewers and lead them to the next steps. They have free customer support. You can do live or simulated live events, unlimited services, unlimited attenders. There's a chat option. You can use your own customized domain and they have customizable calls to action. So you can literally lead people into your next steps or growth track straight from the church online platform. Pretty cool. All right, so before I get to my last couple of points, uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We work really, really hard to put out practical videos that help pastors and church leaders be more effective using social media and technology and reaching more people for Jesus. So if you subscribe to the channel and you hit that little bell notification, you'll get notified every single time we drop a new video. All right, next up is Zoom. Now, I think it's safe to say a lot of us have become kind of Zoomed out uh, with everything that's going on on the pandemic, but this is still a great option for engaging people online through a digital experience, right? So I had a friend of mine who actually, uh, during the pandemic was trying to figure out how to get people to join his church and still have like a digital growth track, even though everything was shut down. And he started creating a Zoom room every single Saturday morning where he just took people through his next steps class and people were literally showing up on Saturday, joining his church and then coming back on Sunday for the actual service. 
pretty cool. His church was growing during the pandemic and he did it all through Zoom. Some other ways that you can use Zoom would be online Bible studies. You could do like a digital meet the pastor, right? You could do like a next steps or a growth track. You could do this for daily devos or weekly devos with the staff. Right? There's a lot of different things that you could use this for, but it's great to be able to just go live on Zoom, allow people to join in. And then again, now you can have much more of a conversation back and forth than you could on something like a Facebook Live. All right, and number four is Facebook. Now there's 2.7 billion people on Facebook, which makes Facebook the single largest missions field the church has ever seen. And there's a lot of different ways to use Facebook. You can post organically on your church Facebook page. You can use Facebook Lives for whenever your church goes live, or if you want to do some type of a QA and a uh, or a Bible study. You can do boosted posts to get out the word to more people inside of your church. You can do targeted Facebook ads to get the word out to people outside your church. You can use chatbots and Facebook Messenger, and you can use Facebook Stories in order to create a lot more content that people are gonna consume, especially in video form, right? So there's a lot of different ways to use Facebook, but again, 2.7 billion people, that makes it the single largest missions field the church has ever seen. We have to show up there and learn how to speak that digital language on Facebook. All right, next up is YouTube. Now, YouTube is my single favorite platform right now. It's the one I'm most excited about, and here's why. YouTube isn't like other types of social media where even if something goes viral, then you see a big spike and then it dies after a couple of days, with YouTube, your content lives forever. And so the longer it lives on the platform, the more authority and trust it builds, and so the more people who are actually going to find it. And because Google owns YouTube, YouTube videos have started showing up inside of the search results. Now, this is a big deal because imagine people being able to go out there and searching for uh, different questions about marriage or parenting or about God or about the Bible, and then imagine them being able to find your sermons covering those topics on YouTube. And not only that, but YouTube is now the second largest search engine in the world behind only Google, and it's owned by Google. This is absolutely how the next generation gets their information, right? They don't actually go to Google anymore and Google things, they go to YouTube and they YouTube them. So if they wanna learn how to study the Bible, they wanna know uh, arguments for or against the existence of God, if they wanna go on to find practical marriage tips, if they wanna learn more about your church, right? The first thing they're gonna do is they're gonna go in and they're gonna search YouTube. So this is a great place where we can show up and we can actually create content that's gonna live for years and continue to attract people to our church. And finally, last but not least, Text and Church. Now, I'm a huge fan of Text and Church because it can do so many different things, but this is a technology that's been around for a couple of years, but it just keeps getting better, right? The team at Text and Church are constantly innovating and creating new things. So you can now use Text and Church uh, to text all of your volunteers to custom groups and get the word out to uh, everyone in your church you can welcome new visitors, you can create customizable follow-up systems for uh, all of your new Sunday morning guests, you can use it to do plan your visit, kids pre-registration, right? It does so much at this point, it's crazy, and it's really cheap. I think it starts at like 37 bucks a month, uh, which is nothing. So if you guys want to check out Text and Church, you can actually try it for free. You can click on the link in the description below. You can actually get 90 days of Text and Church absolutely free, so you can try it for a while and see how you like it. But again, I'm a huge fan of Text and Church because you can do so many different things, and in the grand scheme of things, it's really, really cheap for everything that it does. All right, so if you like this video and you want to keep the conversation going, I wanna encourage you to join the Church Marketers Group on Facebook. We have over 12,000 pastors and church leaders that are in that group. We're constantly talking about uh, tactics and strategies to be able to reach more people and grow your church. So click on the link in the description below or simply go to Facebook and type in Church Marketers and join the group. We'll see you soon.